Hello there. So let us start with topic 3 of module 2. So in this topic we will learn what is access point. So you may have uh, some doubts. What does this access point all denote? In common terms this access point is nothing but the hotspot of the phone or your node MCU. Anything. So to do this we need to just we just need the node mcu board the wi-fi esp8266 module will just switch on the hotspot now what in the previous topic we have done the hotspot of the mobile phone was on and we were switching on the wi-fi from the node mcu and we are connecting now the reverse will happen now we'll switch on the hotspot of the node mcu board and we will switch on the Wi-Fi in our smartphone and will connect the hotspot of the Node MCU board to our smartphone. I hope this is clear. So there are sub se several steps. First of all, switch on the Wi-Fi of your smartphone. This is the primary step which needs to be followed. Followed up with, connect the smartphone with the username and password that is generated by node mcu so now what is the username and password that gets generated let me tell you while we start coding so here we start with the codes so guys here is the code so i have already written it for less time consumption so first of all as i already told we need to include the esp8266 wi-fi library after including this, we need to switch on the serial monitor with a baud rate of 9600. This is the, nothing but the uploading speed what I already told. So this serial monitor uh, will give us the data that how many devices are connected or how many connections the our node MCU has built up with other smartphones. Now we will switch on the hotspot. So to switch on the Wi-Fi we have used begin over here wifi.begin the username and the password but with switch on the hotspot we will use over here wifi.softap ap denotes the access point and over here we have the username and we have the password this username and password is what will be shown in your smartphone's wifi so whatever you write over here it will be showing in your smartphone's wifi so now we will just do the serial dot print in the void loop part. Why we require the loop part? Because we require it continuously. That whenever a device gets connected, whenever a device gets connected, we require that it shows us the station, how many stations it gets connected. So to print the number of stations we have, Wi-Fi dot soft AP. You cannot write uh, the small every character is in small or every character is in caps in capital you need to follow the formula soft is in small then ap is in capital then again small then again capital this should be done so it's telling that soft ap get station num that means how many number of stations are connected with the node mcu will be printed over here now we give a give a delay so that it works efficiently and fluently and smoothly so this is done with a program now we follow the steps we go to tools we go to port we select the port and then we go to the upload speed we select the maximum upload speed over here and then we check the board over here in the no right uh, right bottom that it is not mcu or not if it is not mcu then it's done now we upload it once we upload it, we wait till until and unless it gets compiled and uploaded. One thing you remember uh, before writing the username and password that your password should consist of minimum of eight eight characters or eight either eight numbers or eight characters there is an error over here let me check out what is the error all about so 
So let us re-upload the code once again. Uh, let us uh, maybe that uh, there may be some error by, by default error. So we are re-uploading the code. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, done. It's uploaded. So once it gets uploaded, we will go to the serial monitor over here and we click over here. So we find that the number of connections is zero. So you just remember the thing that you need to write the password more than eight characters. If you don't do this, then the Wi-Fi or the hotspot what you what you are just enabling will not be seen in the uh, mobile phone. So once you just switch on the mobile phone's Wi-Fi and you try to connect with Pritham, you will find that the number of connections becomes we have connected two devices so it becomes two once it's disconnected once we switch on the we switch off the wi-fi then what does it show after some time it will get updated let's see so once you just disconnect one of the device you find that the number of connections becomes one so this is how the entire thing works, how many connections you have with the hotspot of the node MCU board. So it may take some time to just renew the hotspot, generate the hotspot. So you may have 10 to 30 seconds to be seen in the mobile phone, but you need to wait for 10 to 30 seconds, you will find the hotspot generated to the mobile phone. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we have very important topic to discuss with the programming. So meet in the next video. Thank you.